Hello everybody, it's Patrick. Today I'm going to show you the kind of fun that I'm having with Python recently. Instead of me telling you what it is, let me just show it to you first. Okay, so I've paused whatever my script is doing and no, that was not me typing. Okay, let me just break this out with control C. Uh, as you can see, I'm calling a Python script. So this script actually generates sound, plays back samples of keyboards. And it takes a chunk of plain text uh, that I've copy and paste and types it back to us on the console, pretending to be a human with varying speeds that types back. And while it's doing that, for every letter that it prints out, uh, it generates uh, a sound. The code itself is just a couple of functions. What we pass in is just uh, the speed, the delay between each letter, and whether to enable sound or not. So that keyboard uh, typing sounds actually came from a free sample, from free sound. Credits to CRZ1990. Uh, and let's just hear the original sample. What I've got gone ahead and done is um, I take that sound and in my sound editing application I've split out snippets of uh, single keystrokes. I've come up with 10 variations from my splicing and then back in my code uh, for each of the letters generated I randomly select a single sound out of those 10 sounds and just play it back uh, then as an added fun feature uh, because I pass in a list of two values which is the minimum and the maximum delay speed and I fiddle with a few values so I came up with a dictionary that has a profile name to it. So what we've just heard was very fast. So let's do a very slow. Okay, and I, let me save that. And um, I've got two chunks of text. One is a shorter text and one is a longer text. I'm going to play that again with the very slow speed profile. So that's extreme, right? And you can almost believe that this guy doesn't really know how to type and is hunting for the letters. And, and I've also programmed that if it's a capital letter, uh, an additional keystroke, which is the shift key, uh, is being depressed or any of the symbols on the keyboard that requires a shift key like the exclamation mark the hex sign um, I'm gonna just go through a few like uh, moderate speed maybe save it and run that still a bit slowish I'm gonna change the text string to I'm really typing it now it's very bad at spelling okay I'm gonna change it to fast save it and run it yeah so uh, after it finishes it tells the time that it took now let's get rid of that and go back to one of my longer passages and then let's try very fast So this guy really knows what he's, he's doing with the keyboard, right? So 
So one of the things that I faced uh, with fast typing was the sound library that generate that plays back the sample can only play one sample at a time, uh, and it prematurely terminates before the a current sample has finished playing. The next alphabet gets uh, typed in, and it sort of cut the first sample short, uh, resulting in unnatural ending. Uh, so what I did was I did threading. So uh, I run each sound on a different thread, so they could happen concurrently. So let's try the hyper fast one, uh, which is quite entertaining. So okay, so I've broken out again. So that's my script, and um, I really don't know what it's good for. But one of the things that I can think of is um, if you're going to shoot a movie and then you have somebody typing on the screen, uh, off screen, you don't see the person typing, but you see the alphabets forming and then you hear the sound. So uh, typically with this kind of shots, you get an actor to type out and then act maybe like the fast and confident or, you know, hesitant at typing out certain things. And then uh, sometimes the sound is not optimal and then in post-production you have to uh, get audio samples like what I just did but you have to manually line up to uh, how the, elf, the, the, elf, the letters are coming up and then you have to line up uh, and put in each uh, s snippet of the sound sample to line up with whatever is happening on the screen. So uh, with this, uh, we can predefine what we want somebody to type. Maybe it's part of an email. Maybe it's a, a, a chat, uh, you know, message that I'll be back for dinner or something. <laughs> and then we can just have it type it out with sound. So then uh, that will save uh, quite a bit of uh, post-production audio editing. So yeah, it was fun for me. I hope it's entertaining for you to watch it. Uh, Thank you.